Okay, so we need to uh, heat up some beans to make some Frito pie, or walking tacos, or whatever you want to call them. That's uh, where you put in <coughs> beans and and stuff into your uh, the small Frito packages, and it's pretty great uh, camping food. But I'm going to do it in the Nano today <coughs> with wood. So I'm actually going to do it with the fire grate up. I don't know how many of you realize this, but I actually designed this with the intention of using it without a fire grate. So you can actually use it both ways, either with the fire grate or without. And I'm using kind of a, a mixture of, of sizes of wood. So I've got some really small stuff and then some stuff that's a little bit bigger diameter. Um, stuff from probably about pencil size on up to finger size. And I think the uh, I think the Nano works pretty good that way. It's a, as a general rule, the smaller the stick size, uh, the hotter the fire. And there's a lot of variables involved in that. You know, like the uh, the type of wood you're using and different stuff like that. But several <laughs> small sticks will definitely burn hotter than uh, than just four large sticks. So I think that's probably enough sticks. And I've got some <laughs> feather sticks here that uh, I'm going to use to get it going. And that should be enough to get that get things rolling really good. Hey Isla, do you have those beans ready for me? My initial prototypes for this stove didn't have a fire grate at all, which the advantage of not having the fire grate down is you don't build up any coals in there at all, and so it just allows it to flow very freely. Will you bring me the beans? I guess I'll need that spoon too. I should have kept a little water in there just to... Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, why don't you get me just a little bit of water and that'll help it just kind of steam. Did you get me the spoon? Is there just a water bottle you can just grab? I just need a little bit of water. That's fine. Thanks. Yeah, they're bubbling down there. Having some water in there will just make steam and it'll help it to heat all of it up at the same time. Probably I'm going to need to stir it quite a bit because it is so thick. That's a lot of heat under there already. You can see the steam already coming out of those. I don't think they're going to take very long to heat up. <coughs> and these are cottonwood sticks, so they're burning pretty fast. Especially this little skinny guy. So 
and I think these will be hot. Hot beans, really quick. Should I get anything else ready, or are we pretty good for now? No, if mom, I don't know, is mom taking care of the baby? Yeah. I don't know, ask her what she needs to get ready for the actual Frito pie. need to get them hot. I think they're already cooked. Well, they're for sure cooked. You don't want them to be burnt. Yeah, we don't want to burn them. That was the best cook in the world. What's that? That was the really best cook. You can hear them bubbling down there. Me too. We need to salt the beans a little bit. Yeah, we can just put some. They're not so much because the Fritos are already. Okay. Don't we put like um corn too? No, oh, I don't know. I think we sometimes put corn in our beans. Well, we have. I don't know if we will with Frito pie. What? I don't know if we'll do corn with Frito pie. Yeah. <coughs> I don't even think we have any. You don't think we have any? Corn. Should we take them off? So the times you'd want to use this with the <coughs> fire grate in the up position is when you're planning on running it for quite a while, which I'm only going to be running this for a minute, but I don't know, I just kind of wanted to try it with the with the fire grade up oh, Daddy, for old time like sakes. That's okay. I think these beans are hot. You want me to just kind of do a low temperature and keep them warm for a minute? Yeah, and you're going to want to probably add the cheese right to them. Because last time. Oh, can you bring me the cheese, Isla? I was ready to get anything else you guys Emma, can you go get the cheese for me? Yeah. Because this is oh, hot. Oh, I already got it. Just dump it right in. All no. of it? Just all, all the cheese? That's quite a bit of cheese. Okay. Well, these are hot. I'm just going to melt this cheese into here. <coughs> and then uh, I'm going to save. I have three minutes of battery left, it says. So I'm going to push stop so I can show you the final step of Frito pie. And, uh, <coughs> and then I guess we'll have to say goodbye at that point because I'm just out of bag. Brought two batteries on this trip. And I'm completely out of battery already. So I'm going to push stop now and we'll come back here in a few minutes. Okay, I actually just moved the stove out of the way and then set my beans on the hot coals that had fallen onto the ground. And that kept my beans nice and warm for me while I got everything else together. So what I'll do now is you take the bag of Fritos and you just cut the side off of it. Can you throw that away? And then there you have your Fritos. Put your beans in on top of your Fritos. 
Mm. <coughs> and then it's just a matter of fixing them up however you like them. You know, you can see this is super cheesy. So there's going to be plenty of cheese. Oh, it looks like this. So I'm going to do sour cream and salsa. Can I start putting my beans in? Yeah, you can put your beans in. Put the sour cream here. Now I've got the camera going. Don't get in front of it. Get right here. Put a sour cream. A little bit of this awesome salsa that I like so much. I'm going to use a fork to drain out some of the water of that salsa. And there you have it, Frito pie. Well, they call them walking tacos too because you can just kind of hold them in your hand. It's just super convenient for camping food. Then when you're done, you just throw the package away and you're good to go. But anyway, I'm going to give it a try. Mm. Save some for mom. I think that's about it. Mm. And they're good. And they're nice and hearty for camping. And it's delicious stuff. So anyway, thank you for joining me and my family at the San Rafael Swell. We're kind of in the upper black box area um, by uh, Mexican Mountain, central Utah. Thanks everyone for watching. I really appreci appreciate the likes, the shares, the comments, all that stuff it really means a lot to me. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.